everyone and welcome back to my craft room. I was recently listening to a podcast from Pam at the Paper Outpost who was talking about why we love crafting. And one of the reasons she was thinking is because when we go into our craft space, it's almost like going into another world where we're able to just create and have our calming time where we can kind of do our hobby and get away from the, the regular things of life. And I completely agreed with her and it got me thinking about some ways to personalize your craft space and how we do that. And maybe some, some ideas if you're looking for ways to do that, if you're just creating a space now or um, thinking of kind of redoing what you already have. So the first way I think is a good way to personalize your craft space is to make it a calm place. And we're looking at this curtain over here that I added to my shelving that I have down here. And I'll just do a quick pan over here. My craft room mainly has open shelving, but my craft room also serves as a storage room for other things. So extra appliances, extra dishes, uh, pots and pans that are too big to store in other parts of the house, they go down here over on what used to be this open wire shelf here. But I recently added this curtain to cover it up and it's kind of changed the way that I look at my craft room. Now I feel like my craft room is my craft room and I'm not just looking at, <laughs> at old pots and pans. And so this is kind of a way to have a calming space. I have a nice floral curtain to look at and I don't have to look at um, things that maybe aren't related to crafting. Um, another person that I love to follow on Instagram is Victoria Marie. And in her Instagram stories, she's been talking about her new, her, her craft space that she's been kind of updating. And she added a coffee bar to it. And I thought that was such a fun idea. And it just made her so happy because she's got this great kind of uh, piece of, furniture that has drawers in it and then she has her single serve coffee maker on top and all the things she needs to have a good cup of coffee and that's just the thing that she likes. You could add soft lighting, a big soft chair to sit in if you want to take a break. Um, I like to also have, I have my little Bluetooth speaker here, I like to listen to music and podcasts in my craft room because that's usually the only time I have to really kind of sit and listen to things like that and um, so I have the Bluetooth speaker so it kind of surrounds the room with with music or with the podcasts and it's just nice to have that on as I'm doing my thing with my crafting. Another way to make your craft room more personalized is to choose a color palette that works for you. Choose ha what makes you happy. The ha happy colors that you just are so inspired when you see them. In my case, it's just the, the light, bright, um, white with pops of pink and aqua and blue. That's just what I really like in my craft room. But that could be different for somebody else. Maybe somebody else likes a bright red wall. Or if you don't have a lot of space, you can choose your storage containers to be the, the colors that you like. You know, just, just picking things that when you look at them, the colors make you happy and they make you feel inspired to work. Another way to personalize your craft space is to make storage fun. And I've mentioned before how I love library uh, card catalog drawers. And so a lot of my storage is these library card catalogs. So I have these kind of sprinkled throughout my craft room. I also really like to embellish plain containers. So over here, I have a couple of baskets that I added some tin signs to just to kind of embellish them a little bit. And you could do this with any plain container. Just add, add a fun piece of scrapbook paper to it, uh, a paper embellishment, anything you have that just can kind of make it a little more interesting. I like to add stickers too to plain containers. So I got these at the Target dollar spot quite a while ago. And I had some of this floral washi that I really liked and I added little strips of it to the side of these tin containers and it just kind of just makes them a little more fun and decorative. Even my wastebasket is decorative. <laughs> I have my favorite colors and flowers on a wastebasket and I figure why not just make make everything fun and decorative in in my craft room. I like to collect vintage dishes and 
a lot of them I use for storage in my craft room. So I have these little teacups here. I have some over by my sink that I use for watercolors, water, water for my watercolors. And then I use these little cups to store stamps as I'm using them on my desk. So again, it's just something nice to look at, but it's also serving a purpose. I also like to repurpose containers for other things in my craft room. This is an old cookie jar that I had, and I use this just kind of as decor, but also to store, um, at one time it had washi tape in it. Right now, um, I hit, it's empty, I'm trying to figure out, I'm always rearranging, so I'm probably gonna end up storing something different in that. But um, again, it's kind of got the vintage look, and I, I just like to, and it's got the colors too that I like, so uh, I have that there. Um, these jars, I've shown these before, they're just regular, canning jars, but instead I added decorative lids to them to make them a little more decorative and interesting. So it's just another way you can kind of personalize your space. And you don't have to spend a lot of money. I mean, you can go to the, the Target Dollar Spot, um, Dollar Tree, any place and just get, you know, get the like fun containers and colors that you like. And, and you've got, you've got your storage and then you have something fun to look at. And that kind of brings me to my next way to personalize your craft space. And that is to decorate with your favorite things. And I have on this back wall, it was pretty, pretty empty. And I added just a plain tote bag. I had gotten this a while ago from, from Michael's, I think. And I love the colors and I love the lady on the front of it. I don't sew, but I just think I love this bag. I love the little measuring tape that's the handles. And I just thought it was cute to hang up. I also have some Maggie Holmes scrapbook paper that I uh, put in a frame because <laughs> I really like the colors in it and I, and I love the paper. And I'm actually thinking about changing the paper to um, the, new, the newest collection, the Garden Party. I really like those too. I think this is from Bloom. So this is from a long time ago, but, but you know, again, just things that you like that kind of relate to your hobby, you can decorate with those. I use wooden stamps. Also, I really like wooden stamps and the art on the front of them is so pretty. It's nice to display. So I have those displayed as well. I have some more vintage. This is just a little vintage container that I have displayed. I can use it for storage if I want to, but right now it's just kind of sitting out for fun. Lots of decor you can find at, you know, places like Hobby Lobby and that kind of thing. That's where I found the flower and the little sign. Just little reminders of, for me just to kind of be inspired and just some more more art up on the top there. I even have my <laughs> way up at the top is uh, my, it's called a texture, texture Boutique. It was from Sizzix and it's a purse shaped embossing machine. So rather than, you can't do any die cutting in it, but you can just run embossing folders through it. And I just love the way it looks. It's got the mint color and then it's shaped like a little purse. So I just have it sitting out. I don't really use it that much, but it's great for decor. So, so you just get, you know, again, get creative and, and use what you like. So those are just a few ideas of some ways that you can personalize your craft space. I'd love to hear from you in the comments as to how you like to add your own special uh, touches to your craft space, big or small, that kind of make you happy, whether it's the, the coffee bar that, that Victoria Marie has or, or, or a certain color palette. Um, I'd love to hear what everybody else does in their own space. So thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you in my next video.